Data is starting to come in for this year's Run On Less Electric Depot event, which is providing some real-world data on how the Tesla semi-trucks are performing in PepsiCo's fleet. Stick around as I analyze Tesla semi data from the first three days of this event and what it means for the practicality of this electric truck. I'm John, and this is Cleaner Watt. The North American Council for Freight Efficiency, or NACFE, is hosting this Run On Less event and data from three of PepsiCo's Tesla semi-trucks during real-world use is being shared online. I will link to this data below, but I want to talk about some big takeaways from this data. First of all, here are a few general takeaways. 85.4 to 95.5% of the driving was done at 50 miles per hour plus. On day two of the event, one of the Tesla semi-trucks was able to cover 794 miles in a single day while making four deliveries. On day three, that same truck took it a step further and was able to travel 806 miles in a day. When it comes to the 794 mile trip, the Tesla truck was in operation for a bit over 10 hours before stopping for any major recharge. There was a short charging event that added a 15% charge nearly three hours into operation, but I'm assuming that this was a top off during one of the deliveries. After the slightly more than 10 hour shift and approximately a three hour break, which included charging, the truck was put back into operation for nearly 10 more hours to finish out the day. So basically we're looking at two 10 hour shifts for this particular example. And when it comes to the US regulations on how much a truck driver can drive per day, um, based on my research, um, regulations limit in the United States drivers to 11 hours of driving each day within a 14 hour time window. And um, drivers must take a 30 minute break after eight hours of driving. After driving a max of 11 hours in a 14 hour uh, period of time, the driver must take 10 hours off before driving again. So with this particular example, you can see that you can use a vehicle like the Tesla Semi for um, quite a bit of driving per day. 794 miles in the day two example and 806 miles in the day three example. So the amount of range that you can get the Tesla Semi is really um, very practical for many cases. Okay, beyond that, I wanna take one of these examples and talk about charging speeds for the Tesla Semi. On day two, one of the Tesla Semis started charging at approximately a 6% state of charge at around 11.28 a.m. That charging session then ended at around 1.47 p.m. at around a 98.6 state of charge, which means that the time elapsed to go from 6% to nearly 99% was 139 minutes or two hours and 19 minutes. So based on this data, we now know it takes a bit over two hours um, to basically completely charge the Tesla Semi from a low state of charge to nearly 100%. As a reminder, um, charging from like 10% to 80% is usually relatively fast for an electric vehicle comparatively, but the last uh, 20, the last 10% especially, gets quite slow as the battery finishes charging. Uh, the amount of kilowatts that are accepted into the battery pack go way down to protect the battery near the end of the charge. So if you're sitting there waiting for the vehicle to charge, it's not a good use of time to charge all the way up uh, to a high state of charge. Uh, but in this particular example, in between shifts uh, for the Tesla Semi, it did seem to make sense, especially in this application, since it seems like they really wanted to push the limits of this truck. Beyond the 6% to nearly 99% state of charge time there of over two hours, as an example, going from 6% to 80% took about 58 minutes, and going from 6% to 75% took around 50 minutes. That's obviously not extremely fast charging, and I believe that time will get a little better because uh, Pepsi is using 750 kilowatt chargers, whereas um, Tesla's next gen chargers, as Tesla talked about at the Pepsi delivery event, should be capable of one megawatt plus at some point. 
Um, so I believe this could go up. But while these charge times may not seem that impressive, when you realize that the Tesla Semi battery pack is huge, that it very likely has a battery pack size of somewhere between 850 to 900 kilowatt hours, going from a 6% to 80% state of charge um, in less than an hour really isn't bad at all. Especially when you compare it to the electric semi-truck competition, the Tesla semi-truck charges much faster than the competition. I will be keeping my eye on this data from this event because there are quite a few more days left in the event and I'm sure more data will come out about this. Um, but so far this is showing once again that the Tesla Semi is a practical replacement for a lot of diesel trucks. As I've talked about in the past, the vast majority of truck freight in the United States is trucked less than 250 miles. So the Tesla Semi's 500 mile range is sufficient for many, many cases. Do let me know what you think about all this in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. And also I'd like to say once again, thank you to all of those of you who support me through Patreon. Your support makes a big difference and really does help make these videos possible. If you'd like to find out more about how you can support my work through Patreon, I will put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.